we're going to take a look at the monthly update in December or for December and why we are December 3rd 2011 12 3 2011 11 17 a.m. Pacific Standard Time of course it's a Saturday and we're going to look at some of the uh, the bear ETFs and what they're doing on their monthly consolidation levels um, it is this one right here the SDS is a form of that and you can see what the actual prints were the volume was 25 million you can see what the prints were as far as the intraday level we are going to be monitoring this on a monthly level going into 2000 and calendar 12 which will start in January and less than a month and less than a calendar month of 2012 is upon us we can see that 2011 had a multi multi monthly base to this uh, if we don't break it and we st we're going to be monitoring it and making it applicable as far as part of the overall risk management what does that mean it means how do I apply bear funds that have had such a multi-year basing effect and what does that mean one two three four and it, they don't have to move a lot but it was letting you know that when these were going up for five months with slight gains right in this that the broader markets were selling off and and it is a bull and it got up here because it did and now it's back down here starting and it, it was breaking out on this monthly level here and this was in the month of uh, parts of the month of November it was breaking higher we want to monitor that one there there are some other ones that we look at and you'll see here on a monthly level it's the uh, QID and it's just once again of understanding the monthly bull and bear and we're looking at the bear and we're looking at the bull always so we want to be very coherent and very precise as to how the markets are weighted between the two parties this is a yearly low that is being put in the QID and the total volume was 3.7 million shares here's a new one right here it's a brand new one it's a bear 3x and it's a uh, I'll show you the stats on it it's a bear 3x it's new emerging market but look there's the volume on it there's a number of trades on it and there were your ranges on an intraday level however it's a new one that we'll be watching that's been out you can take a look here at the calendar year lows on all of the all of these instruments play a very fine role in diversified risk management and understanding how a bear has had a multi calendar year low base here and generally either only one or two things are going to happen either this thing is breaking out or they break down they're not going to just continue to consolidate one two three four five six seven eight nine months in the broader part of it at the lower end of this trend line is right where it is and you can see where the highs were right here and they make money 37.98 we're down here multi multi uh, year low E D Z E M for emerging markets bear 3x it's a new one but once again I've showed the stats on it here's another new one and I believe it's a financial one and it's a bear and let's take a look at its 2000 um, let, let's take a look at its bases down here and let's see what the 2010 and 2011 picture looks like 
and we can clearly see here that once again another bear it's a new one it's a it's a financial one now F A Z and what do I mean by new I only mean by it it's been around for some months but it's still really new in its uh, yearly time frames so basically what I'm saying is that it's a multi-year base and when the markets weren't doing well you had all of these positive May June July August September until you got to the month of October and November and this is a all of them have the same volume and whatnot within the bear structure and remember that some of these bear structures were way up here back in 2009 on a monthly level and I, I'm sorry that I have to blow up the chart so please forgive me but you can clearly see what they're like up here and how they put in the monthly bottom watch that one uh, volume 27 million shares Another one that you're going to want to look at would be, let's say, the uh, this one here, the monthly small cap bear. And once again, it's had its trading ranges, and you can see here that they too were were up there in value, and and you can see what the structure. Uh, of the 2009 period was most importantly though is what the multi-year consolidation monthly lows are this is this is the most important thing is to understand what that bottom base is in all of these instruments MMTs because 2012 is that we have our 2012 forecast and the thing about it is there are certain things that are happening that's keeping the bulls all down at their bottom calendar year base and that would be the Fed liquidity injections that happened last week with the Federal US Reserve taking full steam and full control ahead right along with central worldwide bankers running off on a rampage within the financial systemic risk systems that are at current jeopardy levels of lockup periods in worldwide financial institutions it's very clear MMTs that we must have the coherency of how Fed liquidity injections work as a major topic to both your bull and bear structures okay and you're looking at them now in December and it's December 3rd 2011 this one here keep your eyes on that small cap bear 3x moving forward there's a lot of upside that these ETFs can go back up here these are all the monthly moving averages though and and another one is this one here the PSQ doesn't move a lot and it's a pro share short QQQQ but it too has one thing in common is the monthly basis at the bottom and they do have room to go higher all of these do you can take a look here uh, where the 2009 highs were and why this one you just think they were great trades on both sides of the market this level was a great breakout to the highs but then you could sell short all the way down this is a multi-year horizontal multi-yearly consolidation in 2011 from when they made their original reversals and all of these things back in 2009 when things were getting better with that liquidity injection in phase one what is happening on a worldwide level right now is that the same injections have multiplied with central bankers around the world in a liquidity pool 
to avoid lockdown in either major banking area and or major broker dealer banking area that would have significant ties to the United States and how that worldwide banking financial system works within its structure and we're masters on that for one reason because that lets us know one thing if things don't work out what has happened here is is that these multi monthly yearly lows are going across here and if things don't get better there's a lot of upside in some of these now potentially but they come in time series time series management time series diversified full bear risk management is the major topic of applying your overall broader weighted view of that bull and bear versus the outside data as long as you understand where the worldwide data is it's very important another one you're going to be watching is this 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 is a, uh, a small cap 400 right here it's at a multi-year low and they have trading ranges at times they make great money that's why you had a one two three four five little a month sending breakout but what does it tell you it tells you that when this is going higher that things aren't good but now they're back in a calendar yearly low once again it's all about the 12,000 12 and 13 forward looking what we do today is forward looking everyone and that's exactly what we do let's take a look at the 2000 the RWM RWM monthly look at it it's a very good one MMTs and it's our calendar year update on what's been happening on a monthly level and it's that December 3rd that we are here today and we can see that they put the highs in at 38 and they too have an ascending monthly base that was going higher in these bears and the bulls were doing the same thing they were going down so with fed liquidity is why would the bear stay down is that in the shorter time frame the massive liquidity joint effort that is is that it's to change the sentiment between both bull and bear wide that means all the bears around the world and all the bulls wide and what does that mean all the bulls around the world and all the bears around the world and how does that liquidity system work in the shorter term but always fails that one's a very very important one here is a 600 that is very important and it's a uh, 600 it's the pro shares the thing that I would like you to look at here on this one is it once again if you short these things down here you would have made a fortune but they had all-time highs up here 700 look at where we're currently at right now in the multi-year base here do not SDD SDD bear look at the ranges in the last 90 days this is a new month right here there's your support level there's your tops right here there's the body of the monthly movements there's the last top at 50 so they came down when that liquidity injection by the Fed came and don't fight the Fed but rather understand it here is the 1000 right here SJF and look at it the 1000 look at its ranges they're at multi bears are at multi yearly basing control structures if any of them all break well don't worry about it well then of course then if this is going to break this long-term 2011 that would make 2012 pretty good but guess what the longer that they consolidate 
and if things don't change, and if the, if the uh, Fed liquidity injections don't work with Europe and the, and the systemic risk, potentially stampeding the banking system, wanting their assets back, it's happening around the world already. So one of the things is the bull has done what? Semiconductor right here on a monthly level. It's called the SSG. And semis are strong this calendar time of the year. But once again, the bear has been putting in, it had great breakouts here on this monthly bear semiconductor because it did and it too they all have the same thing in common just so you know that one there another one that I think that you're going to like is the large cap bear which has had a multi calendar yearly low base as well as far as large cap bear if we get into the tech bear which is the tech Bear 3x, same thing. We're slightly, because this is going to be heavily weighted with that technology index, but it too is at a massive critical support level with all of the injections and seasonality. This is the best and the strongest time of year when tech does well during, let's say, November, December, January, and February. They ramp out new products and things. The other one is the SH and it's a monthly SH and what is it related to S&P 500 see it SH and what you can see that this is the bear of course and it's a monthly level and you're at a multi look at when you take a calendar year of consolidation rather it's a bull or a bear something big is about to happen either these things are going to break down miserably and the bull shooting higher or this bear is going to break out of this con yearly consolidation on all of these things. If things don't work right in the liquidity systems, that will happen. I guarantee it. Now, when you look at this one, which you need to look at the DOG and what they're going to be pinpointed to and related to, you can see these spreads right here. You can see that this is going to be related to the Dow 30, DOW 30 the DOG and once again it has breakouts in this bear and I had five months of an ascending breakout pulled back to a multi yearly monthly support level yeah watch that one please another one that I want you to watch is this one here I think I did it but maybe I didn't that's the SJL ultra short MC let's take a look look there's its lows of the year and they too break out one two three doesn't matter you got up to 70 and now you're back down here it's a monthly chart and it's the SJL pro shares once again ultra short MC all right, um, here's another one. I want you to be coherent moving forward of the SDK. And that's a note to show it again. And I, I just want you to know this one right here. It's very light volume. It doesn't matter where they end up at. What matters is that it's the base that they all have on the bear side and its calendar but they have little breakouts too now up to here okay watch it just to keep a gauge on it here is the SKK ultra short 2000 there take a look at it it too has a breakout handle ascending multi-year base that's the ultra short 2000 SKK all right here is an ETF if they still have it around and it's the uh, short financial ETF is what it is it's the SEF 
it's just once again another way of monitoring if the federal these things either go lower or they're going to go higher depending on what things how they resolve things around the world that's why we're looking at them another one that I want people to look at is this one here the TBT look at it so it's 20 year ultra short it's it, it's it's down here now at its very bottom so consolidation on the TBT if things don't go good around the world of course it's going to go higher so watch this TBT on this monthly consolidation level and also watch the ultra short 17 year how it's putting its bottoms in here all right that's the PST on its multi monthly level and you already know this one FXP what is it it's an ultra short China now you can see the whole history of it but nonetheless when China wasn't doing well and it had a, a great this this bear had a great breakout to the highs up here back down to 28 now FXP ultra short China 25 okay there are many more that we'll be covering as we move through the month of December and here is the REW and it's a technology one these are the ranges as well of the year monthly and how they have traded um, let's take a look at they boy oh boy look at in 2009 they were way up here imagine now let's go back over here and time stamp it right over here there we go so we're going to be monitoring this one that's technology R-E-W R-E-W technology industrial industrials what is it I can tell you S-I-J S-I-J down at the lows it's a short look at the ranges look at the ranges look at the ranges when things weren't going well they do have a great range look at them. they could be shorted down you can short them when they reach their highs on these bears and the bears go down you can short them and be long the bull yes you can look at that look at that that's going to be an important one right here INDL for industrials industrials another one that's going to be very important consumer consumer why look SZK look at where it was this is a uh, bear it's got a base just like all of them and there's upside it's a monthly level it's very important that once again you understand what these multi monthly yearly lows are doing on the other side of the market okay so I think I'm going to conclude that as far as things that will have to be addressed on a very frequent basis here is a EMR EUM is the symbol and we'll shut it down here for you it's been around a long time look he was back over here in 2001 even and once again it's an EUM and EMR stands for what emerging markets right okay and I'm just showing everyone that this particular one is in a calendar base monthly yearly and this is what yearly bases look like on a monthly level look at their highs and then all of a sudden though but look at where they're at I mean there's upside if things go haywire 
and but right now you have Federal Reserve liquidity injections worldwide don't fight the Fed but also understand where the other side of your component is and that's that bear and it's a monthly bear that's been building and had great breakouts these are all breakouts here when we called them going higher and you can short the highs down but nonetheless keep your eye on the e u m and also do me a favor now that you got me going for the last part of it is that e f z you must be watching this one look at it 2009 straight down but look at it it too had broke higher is pulling back but it's a whole calendar year movement and you must watch these support levels and resistance levels and all of these various instruments to apply to apply your risk management plan and let us not forget this one here which is very important and I will always tell you that of course we always cover them but hey wait a minute what is this one it's an ultra short bear that hey look these bears have spiked before but let's take a look at the broader view oh my goodness sake they all have something in common they all had a range look at here they all had breakouts and whatnot look at there it's right back to that level but look at where the breakout tops were mm -hmm. look at that and look at where the current resistance levels are very important to be watching this one okay you can see the ranges but it's very important look at that multi monthly yearly lateral base that is either going to be broken and or held support for breakouts you must do that I am concluding the bear market ETF structure which is in our risk management formula along with the bull ETF risk management formulas and the things that are in par important to weigh the markets and we've also covered and we do is your worldwide risk management exposure is you have the videos and you have a complete guide moving forward MMTs